everybody, I'm Christy from Garden Nerd and I'm excited to report back on an experiment that I've been running for the last few weeks on how to protect a stone fruit tree from squirrels. You may recall that I did a previous video on squirrels where I'm draping this tiny little nectarine tree with bird netting. Well, I have to report back that didn't work. Why? Because the bird netting was touching the tree itself. So the squirrels were crawling all over it. At one time, I had three full-size adult squirrels scrambling all over this bird netting, eating nectarines through the netting. It was a disaster. I was losing five, six nectarines a day off this tree and I got sick of it and I knew something had to be done. So I came up with a contraption. Let me show you what I did step by step. As I mentioned, my first attempt to keep my nectarine tree protected from squirrels was a failure because the netting was touching the tree itself. So squirrels could just crawl on there and get to the fruit and gnaw it through the netting. So I thought, what kind of framework can I create that won't cost me any money that will sit above the tree and outside the, the drip line of the branches? Ta-da! An umbrella without the fabric. So I thought, okay, where can I get an old umbrella that nobody cares about anymore? So I put out the word on my local Buy Nothing group, which is a group on Facebook and probably elsewhere, where you can put out an ask for something you're looking for instead of buying it. And someone, sure enough, had an old sports umbrella that they were gonna get rid of, and they offered it up to me. So I brought it home took off the fabric and set it up in an umbrella stand right next to my fruit tree. You can see in this picture, it's right up against the container. And then I elevated the umbrella to a height that's about 10 to 12 inches above the tallest branch. Next, it was time for bird netting. So I had the old bird netting that I used to cover the tree initially, and I threw that over the top of the umbrella. And that piece covered the entire top surface of the umbrella and draped over a little bit. Then I bought a new package of bird netting. And when opening it up, all you have to do is unfold it and then roll it around the diameter or the circumference, I should say, of the umbrella edge and we pinned it to the netting for uh, to the netting on the top for just for a minute and dra draped it all the way to the ground. Next, this is really the part that took a little bit of time. I took some twine and using a piece of bamboo as a needle stitched together the pieces uh, that are across the top and around the circumference. I went all the way around with a piece of twine and then went down here. This is where the two final pieces overlap. And once I did that, the whole thing was secure. Next, we put bricks around the bottom to make sure that the netting was taut and far enough away from the tree that there wasn't any leeway for anyone to get in. Then we waited. The results were astounding. I am going to say we had a 99% decrease in loss immediately. So within the first hour of putting this thing up, one squirrel came back and attempted to get in and got, got kind of flustered getting caught up in the netting, plus me clapping and scaring it off, that it went away empty handed and then there was silence. For the next week, two weeks, nobody came back. Not one squirrel came back. Now, I know that's probably not the case everywhere you go, but I have to say this was huge because I was losing five, six fruits a day and suddenly nothing. So it was really great. Now, I will say we did find one squirrel somehow got inside and we still can't find the opening. Don't know how that happened, but they were so freaked out about being stuck inside that when we let them out, they left empty handed again. So again, no theft. All of these fruits, I'm going to pick and eat myself. The trick really is to make sure that the, the netting comes out to the edges 
uh, beyond the canopy of the tree by at least, you know, eight inches to a foot. And then when you drop it down, you want to make sure that the netting is fairly taut so that they can't climb it and reach, reach the fruit. Um, all of these fruits are going to come off and go in my kitchen. I'm really excited about this and I couldn't wait to share it with you. You know, one of the things you might be thinking is like, this doesn't work on big trees. It, it really doesn't work on big trees. You're right. This is for trees you can keep small, like I teach in my book, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden. So this is yet another reason to keep your trees small enough that you can manage them with something like this. Now when this is done, when we've harvested all the fruit off of this, we're going to take this contraption and move it over to our Fuji apple tree and see how it does over there, because the rats love the Fuji. So more on this later. I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. You'll find more information about how to grow your own fruit trees in my book, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden, and of course vegetable gardening tips in Gardening for Geeks. Check out my novel, Garden Variety, for a fun summer read that'll totally take you away. It's a lot of fun. And consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.